Now let's look at the numbers. Some things that are interesting to me is that if you don't know about Arlington, Arlington is consists of nine zip codes. The average sales price for September 2021, because the October numbers haven't come out yet, even though we're at the end of October. So this information is still useful. The average sales price in the September was 726 thousand dollars the number of units sold was 242 for all of arlington and so right now we have this visual that shows where most of the transactions occur and this isn't necessarily a surprise uh to me but we're usually seeing a lot more transactions towards the more heavily populated areas of the Arlington area. They just have more houses, right? Yeah. Um, and so because they have more houses, as you can see, the, these are the different zip codes that represent the Arlington area. There's just gonna be more transactions, right? Uh -huh. Now, one thing that really stuck out to me is the fact that Arlington right now, the days on market have reached 30 days. Oh, wow, I'm surprised to hear that. That's insane when you consider that the this is a nine day increase year over year and a six day increase year to date, right? So year over year means from uh, September, 2021, when we compare September, 2021 to September, 2020, what is that increase? And, and really the reason why we look at that is we wanna make sure that we remove seasonality from it. Well, last year was an election year, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that was a big event that could have made a difference in the numbers. Mm -hmm. But even if you take that out, right? Even if you take that, take that out of consideration, a nine day increase in days on market means that homes are now staying on the market for a week and a half more. This is significant in the sense that now as a buyer, if you're buying a home in Arlington, you have more time to think about your purchase. But, but we maybe see more properties. You don't have to feel as pressured. And also this means that we're going to start to accumulate more inventory, right? And so as inventory accumulates, that means that you will also get to have more of a selection. I said all that, but I'm about to negate all that. Everything? Okay. I'm about to negate about to throw almost a all of it. In yes. there? Um, but, but we are going into the winter selling season, right? So, so this is late October. This video is, this live stream was being uh, recorded. Mm -hmm. And as we move into the winter selling season, we see less houses come on the market. Mm -hmm. So while there's more houses on the market right now, those houses are taking longer to sell. The average sales price is also stagnant when you look at it from year over year, that inventory is really gonna disappear as we move into the winter season because people just don't like to put their houses on the market during the winter season. So if you are looking for a property- You'll choose from what's available. You'll choose from what's available. Now I will say the best time to get a deal, right? Cause sometimes we have people who, who are like, Abraham, I wanna get a deal. I wanna get, a, I wanna get just a, a really great price. Mm -hmm. The best prices are always had in the winter season. In the winter season, I'm talking about December, January, early February. But as soon as you get into February, really, you, you we kinda, consider that spring. Yeah, that's kind of like <laughs> spring. Um, but if you're looking for a deal, right? I'm talking about when it's cold, late December. People are having second thoughts about whether or not the world is going to end. Like people start to say silly things. We'll begin to December. That's time for you to get a deal. So last numbers that I want to look at is the sales by zip codes. This isn't going to really surprise anybody that's a local, uh, but North Arlington is more expensive than South Arlington. Arlington. And as you can see, the average sales price in the, the, the 22207 uh, zip code, which is going to be the second most expensive, is 1.16 million. Uh, the most expensive is going to be 22213, which is going to be uh, at 1.22 million. Mm -hmm. One of the main reasons why this 22223 is uh, so expensive is because it, it borders the Falls Church, so to the west is gonna be uh, Falls Church and then to the north is gonna be the McLean area. So that's just a, a highly desirable mm -hmm. part of the county and you get that trifecta as well. So that's the main numbers I wanna share with you. Lastly, I would like to also let you know if you're a VA buyer, because we do do a lot of business with uh, VA buyers who are relocating to the area, mm -hmm. 14 of the 242 transactions were VA buyers. That's only 6% of the overall market Mm -hmm. The reason why we see less VA sales or less VA transactions has to do with the average sales price, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't see that many VA buyers that are going above that seven to eight hundred thousand dollar price range, but that really maxes out your VA loan. Mm -hmm. So when half the county is more expensive than the uh, the VA limit, mm -hmm. it makes sense why you don't really see as many VA. Yeah, because then they're area. bringing more cash to the table. 
Exactly, yeah. exactly. You know what I was surprised by? Uh, aside from the days on market, I'm actually surprised that prices, I think you said prices have decreased in Arlington? Yes. I was really surprised by that because I don't think that that's the case anywhere in Fairfax County, right? Well, the prices have decreased year over year. So when you compare September 2020 mm -hmm. to September 2021, this year September's numbers are lower than, than last, last September. Year's. I'm still surprised by that. I would like to see, I mean, when we do, we'll, well be back in Fairfax County in two weeks, but I would like to see where we are in Fairfax. With See, that. I, I think it makes sense if you think about the fact that when the pandemic hit in March, sales slowed down for April and May. And then there was just like a, a boom, a boom <laughs> after that. So I think that comparing this September, which is a slower September, mm -hmm. to last uh, year September, it kind of makes sense. One thing I would be more interested in is to see the numbers for December. You see, Why because in December, we had a banger December last year. Uh -huh. And we're in like a traditional market now where mm -hmm. things are getting slow right before school starts, which yeah. means that they'll most likely get slow in the winter time. So what is going to happen with those December numbers? That, that's going to be interesting okay. uh, to see. My name is Abraham Walker, and this is Crystal Walker. And we make up the Ask A Walker team. You're watching this, this video on the Where to Live in Northern Virginia channel. If you want to get in touch with us for either a perfect home questionnaire where we we talk about your options of moving to the area or moving around the area. There is a link in the description. Click the link, fill out the form, and we will schedule a time to do a Zoom session with you to talk about all of your needs. My phone number or the company's phone number is right down here as well. Phone number and email address mm -hmm. is down here as well if you need to get immediate access to us. Tune in next week. Same. City of Alexandria. City of Alexandria. We're covering City of Alexandria next week, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday. That's correct. Wednesday. Yeah. Peace. Yeah.